That's the time when we take a look at the pictures that caught our oh, eye yeah. this week. My favorite part of the show. It really is. It's my favorite part, too. So I'm going to show two pictures. Oh. And these two pictures okay. are proof that you never know how the Pause Pet of the Week segment that we have here on CBS2 will impact someone's life. Take a look. This is Lucy. Look at that I little. Know. Now that's Lucy as Adorable. a puppy the day the Dubois family brought her home. She was the Pause Pet of the Week on Christmas Day in 2014. That's her today. Her name was Angel at the time that she was adopted. She's a mix of pug, beagle, and chihuahua. Peter Dubois and his wife Anne and daughter Alice fell in love when they saw her on TV and they went down to pause the very next day to adopt her. <laughs> and I had the pleasure of meeting Peter when I served as MC for the Paws Chicago Peter Faseus Golf Open recently. And that's when Peter Dubois shared that beautiful story with me and how much love Lucy has brought to his family. Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Peter. And a cute, uh, isn't that amazing? Chihuahua, would you say Chihuahua, Pug, and, and Beagle? And Beagle. Don't show my mom. She'll fall in love. I know. He's, he's going to have to lock Lucy up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, look, continuing my flower uh, kind of uh, show that I, that I bring you every weekend, I literally had to pull my truck over the other day because I saw something on the side of the road. I pulled over and I said, what in the world is that? I've never seen this flower before. I oh want it in gosh. my garden. Isn't that beautiful? That is stunning. So do you know what that is? It's chicory. Stop. Really? It's chicory, yeah. So it, it kind of escaped cultivation, and they're really found all throughout. They're, they've kind of naturalized does throughout it have the U.S. The scent of it, too? it does have a scent, oh from what goodness, I'm told, yes. and and the root is used to make uh, the kind of coffee additive right. that we hear about exactly. a lot. Um, but I had no idea that it kind of was is really on the side of highways now. It finds its way, especially when you have a dry summer. A dry mm. summer leads to this because it has a long tap root. It tolerates drought well when other things aren't really doing so well in the dry conditions. Conditions, but an absolutely beautiful flower. It is not native. I'm not going to grow it in my garden. I would like to, but I think the deer would pretty much destroy that. It would be gone. <laughs> it would be gone.